Hey everybody and welcome to Sunday Praise and I'm Brian William Hewitt and we thank you for joining us on this wonderful blessed day. And today we're going to be speaking of your spiritual weapons, your spiritual choices and all that you have at your whole armor of God. And we want to just thank and praise everyone who that had a uh, was part of that dedication for David Bowie from Ontario last night, a 500 uh, Peace Choir. Uh, did a dedication of uh, his space oddity. It was beautiful, beautiful, well done. Check it out over Periscope or YouTube, I'm sure. But I just wanted to share that. He was an outstanding artist. Uh, I met him a handful of times, but just uh, we don't know when our time is coming is what why I bring that up. So let us all, as we start today's broadcast, I will lead into it by saying, let us all put on the whole armor of God every day before we leave our home, before we even start the day, in Jesus' name. Amen. So we're going to be in Ephesians chapter 6, Ephesians chapter 6 today. So let's go before the throne of God and pray and pray in. Dear Jesus, we thank you for this day. We, we thank you for your love, your truth, how your truth sets us free. We thank you for all that you're doing to us, all that you're saying to us. We thank you for the strength. We thank you for the new mercies you poured down upon us as we lift up all our prayers, repentance, and forgiveness. We thank you for all that you have around us that is in your name. We thank all that you shall bestow upon your knowledge today and uh, through your grace, through your wisdom, and through your touch. And we thank you for bringing restoration of the refugees to, to, the, to either a, a new home in the country or into your outstretched arms. We thank you for all, we thank you for your truth in Jesus' matchless name. All right, brother, we're going to be in Ephesians chapter 6. We're going to start with verse 12. For we wrestle not against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, but against spiritual wickedness in high places. We come not going against a personal type existence or being. This is all about the spiritualness that we can either attain or not. But the more we move closer and closer into these strengths of our spirituality, the more of a persecution that all of us will feel. And this is coming high places, low places, in between, all over. Just like there are different strengths of God's angels or different strengths of the evil darkness of, of Satan's angels. Mm -hmm. But we come in seeking and giving you, especially in the start of 2016, against moving forward against all laws, but moving forward in the grace, in the abundance of truth that's been laid out for all of us. Not just some of us, all of us. But there is a big difference between being born again and being not saved. To being in, in one with the Lord, one judgment, one mind of Christ, than being lukewarm, than being not knowing. And just uh, the worst type you can be is, is the lukewarm, brethren, because God will spit you out. Verse 13, Wherefore take on t unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. And having done all, to stand. So like I just said a few minutes ago, we must put on that spiritual clothing, our spiritual prayer time, our Bible study time. This is not just for Sunday. This is just pretty much around the clock wherever we go. And upon... The righteousness that we do stand there for, we don't become self-righteous, but we can be, we become the righteousness of God. There's a big, big difference. Amen. And we go against all the fiery darts that come against us. And like how I have had more than a few recently thrown at me, do what I say if you are attacked by those fiery, dark, evil darkness of the, those dark corners of the world, or your own world, brethren, take it as a compliment because you're doing something right. Amen. Take it as a compliment because my wife Anita and myself, and especially Anita, who I call the anointed and appointed one, she is 
just some of our conversations we have are like sermons. She is a true, true spirit. And do catch her and visit her in our ministry at Anita Hewitt, Food for the Soul. That's Food for the Soul that comes out pretty much every other day, as well as Woman to Woman over at Anita Hewitt um, Blogspot. And, and while we're doing this, we'd like to have you come and visit us at BrianTewitt.com. We speak of many strengths, and there are several light levels of strengths that come into us. But the most important, brethren, is your time right now, what we want to say t- to you now. We all have separate interests. We all have separate careers. But it comes to a point where if you've been in a church pew for 30 years or you've just been spinning for 30 years, it's time to take that step forward right now. It's time to put on a new set of clothing every day. Amen. It's time to walk away from that stench of of deceit, of untruth, of wickedness, of drug addiction, any type of addiction or isms that aren't even found in any medical dictionaries. You have the strength and you have the knowledge of what you've been through inside of you and around you to bring that as a change, to bring that as his glorious instrument right now. We come before you, O God, to bring not only change to the refugees but to us here in the city of LA, to those in the surrounding areas, yes. to protect the United States from any unseen forces of evil, to give our clarity of our leaderships the actual mindset of leadership, yes. and to go forward into, into just executing sound bites that sound pretty for the press, but to go forward through prayer. Prayer is that weapon that we all must face. It cannot be said half-heartedly. cannot be said like it's going through a revolving door. It must come through the depth of the most deepest part of your heart that you've never knew you had. Amen. And also the repentance. I've had a lot of people that were murdered in my life. A lot that was happened to me, a lot of betrayals by friends. But, brethren, if I can forgive those people who took those loved ones down, you can surely do the same. Amen. In Jesus' name. Yes. So stand, stand up of your absolute truths right now. Take a stand. Take this now. And put on that whole armor of God, that knowledge. Go into again. Go into your day, knowing that there is going to be great spiritual warfare. Go into your day that you are being clothed with the righteousness of God. Go into this day with the confidence that you own the world around you and in it, and you are a leader. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Brethren, we like to give everybody an opportunity to put on the whole armor of God yes. and to digest its spiritual strength every day in the tuning fork of God's loving word. If you've never known the Lord, let's just come before us. Let's go and do your best. Repeat this off to me. Dear Lord, mm-hmm. I know I am a sinner. Yes. I come forward in you, O Lord, to take me, love me, I'm yours. I bring unto you the spiritual righteousness, the spiritual truth. I acknowledge that you are the Son of God that came down to earth to be born in in humility of a manger, to preach and teach your beautiful elegance, and to die and to give up your life with your outstretched arms and the cross to embrace us and to rise and give us all eternity. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We ask you to put a hedge of protection around our, our, yes. ourselves, our families, our loved ones, and those who need it. Lord, we also ask you for any homeless person in the world that's watching this broadcast 
through an electronic store. Yet the Spirit of the Lord is, is giving him the knowledge and the understanding of this. Come forward now. Jesus loves you. Yes. yes. In Jesus' much name. In Jesus' name. Brethren, if you said that prayer, not only is my wife praising him in the background, Amen. but I am praising Hallelujah. him. Hallelujah. And the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of yes. God. You have that spiritual clothing now. It's nothing that you have to take out of your closet, take off a hanger, put it on to the power of prayer, power to turn your life over to God. To feel that and to know that, to feel that anointing that is coming onto your way and to feel that absolute trust in His truth. Amen. You can go forward with a lot of different elements coming in your way. And these elements start with you. Taking that step forward, getting yourself into midweek Bible studies, Sunday service for the saints, and then fellowship, fellowship, fellowship. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. We come unto your truth. We come unto your love. We ask you all that for those who wish to become part of our ministry and to join our own vision, God's vision, do send us your tithes and offerings at BrianTruitt.com, BrianTruitt.com. Click on the donate button. Or click on the contact link, and our full name is Morning MCM Ministries of Morning Star Communication Network, and we're also known here as Bible LA, Bible LA. Amen. So get to know us, flow with us, grow with us, and Jesus march His name. Amen. And let's go before, and before we close out, let's go before the throne of God and pray, pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you, the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. We thank the unity, Holy Spirit, to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love and your truth, and the truth sets you free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Brother, we thank you for joining us on this blessed Sunday, live from Los Angeles. And I'm Brian William Hewitt, and on behalf of my beautiful wife, Anita Hewitt, Amen. we thank you for your time until next God time. God bless you. We love you in the name of the Lord. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day for the people, and praise God, praise God, and praise God.